happy Wednesday. I've pretty much been cooped up in my apartment all week, so I'm finally getting out. I'm about to head to Little Italy to grab dinner with a friend. It'll be like a real chill night. It's warming up in New York City, so it's about that time for me to start going outside more often. I've been a little more reluctant than usual um, about going out and just doing things just because there have been a lot of like random occurrences of violence, especially on the subways, and I personally take the subway to get anywhere. So I've just been a little bit restless about that and a little anxious, but I'm trying not to let that stop me from living my life and really enjoying all that New York City has to offer. So I'm going out today, pushing myself, probably gonna go out this weekend as well. I'm about to finish getting ready and then I'm gonna head into the city. Happy Saturday. Oh, it is not Saturday. I am currently at the dermatologist. First thing in the morning, I was finally able to get in with him. My skin has just been taking its sweet time clearing up, so finally seeing an actual specialist to try to clear my skin as quickly as possible. I feel like I've tried everything for my skin, um, so right now I'm kind of like in the desperate phase, like I need to try something else, so we'll see. This is gonna hurt. Huh? Is it gonna uh, hurt? So a little pinch, tiniest needle that we have, but uh, it's still a needle, so okay. I'm gonna push your head back so it's up a little bit against there, okay? So basically we'll just go for the biggest ones, the ones that are most sensitive. Ooh, that's okay. a little spicy. <laughs> This one, that one's slightly. Yeah. Any others? Not painful at all? Slightly. This one? Mm You guys, the craziest thing just happened. So I was um, on my way home from the city and I'm coming out of the train station and there's a woman, well before I even come up the steps, I see someone passed out at the top of the steps. So I like look around me to make sure I'm not the only one in the stairwell. Thankfully there was someone coming up behind me. Um, so I like tiptoe past this person. It's a woman completely unconscious. Her pants are like down at her knees and like her private area is completely exposed and her eyes were like slightly open like you could see the whites of her eyes but it was clear that she was unconscious and everyone was just walking past her i don't know how long she was sitting up there um and granted it's new york you see this kind of stuff all the time and most of the time i just walk past it too because you know you don't really want to get involved you don't know what's going on probably drugs are involved you just want to stay out of it but for some reason today, I was like, I can't leave this lady here. So I leave the train station and I stand like right outside. So I could still see her. She was already past the turnstile and everything, but she was still in like my eyesight. And I call 911 and um, this older woman comes out and she sees me on the phone and she's like, are you calling 911 for that girl? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, and then she leaves. So yeah, I call 911. I don't stay there until they get there. I just left because I really didn't want to be involved at all, but I wanted to make sure she got the help that she needed. But they got there super quickly, like literally before I even got home, I could hear the siren. So I'm assuming that was for her and I'm hoping um, she got the help that she needed. But that was my first time calling 
911 for a stranger here in New York and it's just so crazy how often it happens and how desensitized we as New York citizens have become to these kinds of things and it just made me think like how many lives could have been saved had someone had a passerby just like called you even if you didn't want to like stay there because they were asking me like oh is she breathing can you speak to her blah 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 i was like i've already left the station like she's past the turnstile so i wouldn't be able to like go back in unless i like paid again which you know i could have but i just wanted to be really hands off i feel like calling um in that moment was good enough for me some people you know would go above and beyond they would have gone back into the train station and like checked her pulse and everything like that maybe at some point i will get to that point of being a good samaritan but <laughs> uh i'm just glad i called uh because that was really scary to just to see her like that but anyways on a brighter note or i guess semi brighter note i am feeling positive about uh, the dermatologist that i just saw he gave me some injections in my face as you guys could see i don't remember what the actual medication that he put into my face what it's called but it is for inflamed um inflamed bumps that have been there for a while so when you get a new breakout it's supposed to last like three to five days and if it lasts beyond that there's something like beyond the surface that's like impacting the ability for the bump to like come out and surface on the skin like some of the whiteheads that i have over here so he put the um the liquid or whatever into my face and i should see the inflammation go down within 24 to 48 hours you guys know that I was on the tretinoin and clindamycin uh, combo treatment. My uh, Originally, my tretinoin cream was only a 0 0.025 dosage, so he bumped me up to 0.5, which is what most people, if you watch YouTube reviews about tretinoin, most people are using the 0.5 dosage, so I should get that tomorrow. And then he also prescribed me like this gel that I'm supposed to use in the morning. I don't remember what it's called, but I'll probably show you guys in another video. He recommended this uh, face wash and this uh, moisturizer. So they just gave me like a ton of samples for both the moisturizer and the face wash. And if I like it, then I can get it at like my local CVS or Walgreens or something like that. So we'll see um, how this turns out. But I am being optimistic i think uh, this time around we might be able to clear it up for good hopefully um he said that it was likely the biotin that i was taking that caused the flare-up um because biotin even though it's for healthy skin and nails sometimes people have an adverse reaction uh where it's causing it's producing too much of the chemical in your body which is causing the acne so yeah we'll see i'm about to chill up here for a little bit soak up the sun and um yeah mind my business for the day it's like 80 degrees in New York today I'm super excited and I'm gonna enjoy it while I can because I think tomorrow it's dropping back down to like 60 something and it's gonna be raining so yeah I'm about to get my tan on just got word that I booked a commercial for Saturday it's an overnight shoot but they're requiring a COVID test so I have to run to Manhattan get a COVID test and get back in time because I'm supposed to be um, meeting some girls at a skating rink in Brooklyn I know some of y'all probably wondering why is she going all the way to Manhattan just to get a COVID test because production like prepays some of these COVID testing sites for talent to go and get the COVID test for free um, and so all the ones that they work with are in Manhattan. There's one in Williamsburg, but it's the one in the financial district is actually closer to me than the one in Williamsburg. So I'm going to Manhattan. And then hopefully I will get back in time to make it to the skating rink. I just woke up <laughs> so I got home from getting my COVID test and laid down for what was supposed to be like a quick 15 minute cat nap it's now 8 o'clock and the Sun has already gone down <laughs> so I'm about to like freshen up really quickly and then head um, to the skating rink in uh, 
it's still in Brooklyn. It's somewhere in Brooklyn. I haven't been. This is my first time. But um, I just texted one of the girls that I'm supposed to be meeting there. And like I created this uh, roller skating group chat. And I haven't met any of them. But they've been, they haven't been super communicative during the day about going out tonight. So I'm hoping that they're still planning on going. Like I followed up a couple of times and no one said anything besides one other girl. So like I hope that when I show up, I'm not the only one from the group there but we'll see you guys hopefully i don't get stood up <laughs> I got stood up none of the girls showed up and if they did none of them let me know that they were there but it's fine I went and I had a good time and I actually reconnected with a woman that I used to skate with a long time ago like last year um, I was sitting down on my phone taking a break and she came up to me she noticed me uh, I don't know how she remembered me probably my bald head but yeah it was so good to reconnect with her um, I have officially decided that I think I'm going to start taking classes there um, every week just because every time I go skating with like the Brooklyn community it makes me realize how terrible I am <laughs> and I definitely want to get better so I think I'm going to start taking classes. Hey you guys, happy Saturday. To my surprise, my weekend is actually gonna be dedicated to working. Like I told you guys yesterday, I got booked for a last minute uh, commercial tonight, so I'll be doing that. And then I have two self tapes that I need to get done and submitted before Monday, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock those out today. It usually takes me a while, it takes me longer than it's supposed to to film my self tapes because I am just a perfectionist and I record my auditions like 15 times. I would say really you're only supposed to be doing maybe like five takes and if it's not better after five takes then just call it quits but I <laughs> I need to learn how to take my own advice but yeah I'm about to set up my little audition area knock out these self tapes and then probably try to take a nap because the commercial shoot is overnight this is my first overnight booking um, so I'm really interested to see how my body is gonna be operating at like five o'clock in the morning or I guess like three o'clock in the morning Hey guys, so I was able to finish all my castings in time to get in like three hours for a nap. I hope that's going to be enough to keep me up throughout the night. It's going to have to be. <laughs> but um, I'm about to head out now because it looks like it's about to rain and I want to try to make it to the location before it pours down. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to record much behind the scenes for this project because I did have to sign a non-disclosure agreement. So yeah, just a heads up, you guys are probably not going to get to see much, but I'm really excited to be working on this commercial. Like I said, it was a super last minute booking and I love working on the weekend personally just because I'm able to make money instead of spend money, so that's a win-win for me. <laughs> So as expected, I wasn't able to record any behind the scenes for this project. I was on set for about 10 hours straight and didn't get home until around 7 a.m. So that pretty much wraps it up for this vlog and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!